Well, first at 430, if you're driving by Pearl Harbor, you may notice the giant golf ball structure is back. Our Annalisa Burgos takes us inside the White Dome, which houses one of the U.S. military's most powerful radar technology. This is the sea-based X-Ban radar, one of America's missile defense tools that's become even more important as China, North Korea, and Russia step up their weapons capabilities in the Pacific. Media got a tour of the U.S. Missile Defense Agency's SBX-1, the world's largest, most powerful mobile radar of its kind. It's built on a customized oil rig that can be partially submerged to maintain stability during rough seas and winds of more than 100 miles per hour. The 2,400-ton radar can be rotated, an engineering marvel. We can look in any direction. We mechanically slew it. We can also lift it all the way up to look straight up. The structure itself is more than 280 feet tall, with about 72 crew members who rotate on and off every nine weeks. They'll be at Pearl Harbor for about four months for maintenance and more than $70 million of upgrades. That's after their longest deployment yet, 662 days at sea. While other early warning radars can detect missiles, the MDA says SBX-1 can see targets more clearly to determine if it's an actual threat. We look in, look at the shape, look at the characteristics, and can look at a lot more details. Once a threat is identified, radars in Japan and Alaska work together with SBX-1 on precision tracking, and data is sent to the interceptor station on shore. We have to see it in time that they can figure out that they want to shoot it, initialize the interceptor and get it launched so that it can intercept before it gets to where it does some damage. Dees says the MDA is developing and testing new technology to adapt to evolving threats. Threats are getting more precise. They're adding decoys and jammers. They're adding things that make it harder. A depressed trajectory means you've got less time to watch and engage the target. For long range hypersonic cruise missiles, that fly lower and you can't see them as far over the curve of the earth. While plans for a land-based radar system in Hawaii have stalled, the MDA says SBX-1 and existing infrastructure are able to protect Hawaii. Between overhead sensors, ground-based radars on land, and surface radars on ships. Reporting at Pearl Harbor, Annalisa Burgos, Hawaii News Now. Annalisa, thank you.